Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna to be talking about how bile travels from the liver down to the duodenum where it drains, okay? So first of all, why do we have bile? Well, basically the function of bile is to basically break down fats into fatty acids so therefore they can then be digested. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. And this is gonna be my liver, right? And we're gonna have two lobes here. We are gonna have the left lobe. Okay, this is the liver. This is gonna be my left lobe. And we're gonna have the right lobe of the liver. So really quick, before we get into that, let's talk about some structures that are here, okay? So in the liver, basically between the lobes, we're gonna have something called the falciform ligament. And then attached to the falciform ligament, we are gonna have something that's called the round ligament, which is gonna be basically attached onto the bottom of this, okay? So this is gonna be our round ligament. But let's talk about our, uh, let's talk about the hepatic, or let's talk about how bile travels. So the liver is going to make bile, and in the right lobe, I'm gonna have something that we call the right hepatic duct. So here comes the right hepatic duct right here. So this is my right hepatic duct that's going to be right here. Okay, and then in the left lobe, we're gonna have the left hepatic duct. So this is my left hepatic duct. So my right and left hepatic ducts are going to come together and they are going to form what we call the common hepatic duct. So it's gonna be my common hepatic duct. And then coming off the common hepatic duct, I am gonna have another duct that's gonna basically go back up this way, and we are going to call this the cystic duct. So it's gonna be my cystic duct. That's right here. And then the cystic duct is going to be attached to the gallbladder. And the gallbladder is responsible for storing, the gallbladder is responsible for storing bile. So this is gonna be my gallbladder. Right there. So there's my gallbladder, okay? Now, after that, what's gonna happen is where my cystic duct and my, my common hepatic duct meet, after that, we are gonna have something called the common bile duct. So this is my common bile duct. And the common bile duct is going to come all the way down to the pancreas. So we're gonna go down like this, okay? And then what we're going to do is we are going to draw the pancreas right here. All right, here's the pancreas. And then going right around the pancreas, we have our duodenum. That's going to, which remember, the duodenum is part of the small intestine. So this is gonna be my duodenum right here. All right, my duodenum is actually going to be attached to the stomach. So I'm just gonna draw the stomach kind of coming up like this. All right, stomach obviously not to scale. But anyways, so this is the stomach. That's going to be right here. And then this is going to be our duodenum. And the duodenum is part of the small intestine, right? So it's part of the small intestine. SI stands for small intestine. Now, what's going to happen is this common bile duct is going to meet up with another duct that's in the pancreas. And this is going to be called my pancreatic duct. So here's my pancreatic duct right here. Okay, there's my pancreatic duct. And then what's going to happen is these two are going to meet up and they are going to drain into the small intestine, okay? So the pancreatic duct and the common bile duct are going to come together and they're gonna drain into the small intestine at the duodenum. Now right here, I'm gonna circle this. Right here where these drain in, the, this is gonna be called my ampulla of 
Vader. No relation to that Vader that you're thinking of. Okay, this is called the ampulla, ampulla of Vader, okay? So now, the pancreatic duct is gonna release digestive juices, right? And the common bile duct is going to release bile. So the bile is going to travel all the way down here. If it's stored, it's going to be in here. Cystic duct works both ways, so bile can go in and out through there. Then it becomes the common bile duct, meets the pancreatic duct, and becomes the ampulla vader, which is this open right here where it drains into there. So that's basically how bile travels from the liver all the way down to the small intestine. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll leave this up here for a few seconds so you can take a look at it.